Dude, whoa. whoa. Oh, it's lit. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak to you about our collective concern over the asteroid. We have never faced something so existential, a threat we could not overcome or solve as a nation or species. This one is cosmic, but we will not waver. I assure you that our nation's best and brightest are working tirelessly to guarantee a future for us on this planet. I want to address the children. Do not let this scare you. Keep playing and keep learning. Hug your parents longer. And when they ask you to set the table, do it with a smile. I leave you with this. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. This is why we need to give the Mars mission a kick in the ass. Pretty sure uh, Elon and the rest of them are working hard to get us there. What I mean is, no resistance. Well, I mean, they're playing in their own corner of the sandbox. What are you trying to say? The other day on campus, I saw a group of blue and green-haired students holding signs that read, Decolonize Mars. Like, WTF, we're not even there yet, and nobody is living there. Moron. You got some passion there, girl. But I think what you're afraid of is the world about to end. I haven't even hit my quarter life crisis. Of course it's too damn soon. But my generation is faltering. First, the lockdowns that shattered our education and social life, and now this godforsaken rock headed our way. Well, you guys gotta stay busy. That's what I do. I set goals. Like getting my logo on the side of that rocket that's gonna take you to Mars. Or maybe joining the Sky High Club. You remind me of that meme with the dog in the burning house with the caption, this is fine. Maybe because the age gap between us that I'm not as relaxed as you, I don't know. Well, I am afraid that if the world doesn't end, I'm still running my energy drink company. You think it's going to miss us? Well, I'm actually banking on it. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking, you're my new primo girl. You go to concerts free, hand out some samples. I think that'd work out. <laughs> Still trying to recruit during the end of the world? Idle hands. I'm in, Hunter. But first, I'm going to pie those blue hairs on campus to complete their clown costumes. Sounds like a plan. Where's my shot? <laughs> Here's to the end of the world. the ultimate invasion. Well, all I have to do is give them the look, and then when it happens, I'll just kill them with kindness. And to take one home? Well, I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs> hey, can I get a round of whiskey shots for my newly singled sister? Gosh, could you be any more forward? Look, I might like that woman. Someone who can tell them what she likes and what she wants. Okay, hi, I'm Emily. I work for the NSA, National Security Agency, and I like men who set high goals. Blah, boring. Come on, where's the appeal? You work for the government. Use some of that cloak and dagger stuff to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Emily, and you better not lie or cheat on me, otherwise I will have your search history and phone <laughs> records on my desk in the morning. <laughs> Cheers. God bless us. That's all the old hag has for us. A tissue to wipe our nose. No deals is machina in this town. Faith is all this town has. Faith that NASA will shoot a nuke at the giant rock and stop it? Or faith in something else? As a secretary of defense, I don't even have faith in her. I know her very well. Try God. Yes. This is a challenge, but I refuse to believe that we are on a collision course by chance. And your God just waiting for us to uh, prove ourselves? Any God, not just my God. 
Yahweh, Allah, Brahma. I see. A council of gods. Still, that's very cruel. They think America is Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to free will? Yes. Oh. You know, free will isn't free of consequence. We reap what we sow, Kelly. So this is a perfect example of free will at its finest. Look around. I think it's an example of causality. Hmm. I drink, therefore I need water and nachos. Hey, <laughs> I drink to that. Idiots! They come here and they drink for their own reasons. They know nothing. You're right. This place should be on ecstasy like it is on New Year's Eve. Instead, they just come here to numb themselves. They don't even know the blessing. Wait, what? What are you talking about? The end is a blessing? We couldn't have done better. The G-men, those weasel politicians, the cops, let them all panic. Three, let it all burn. <laughs> hey, hold on. I thought our mission is to reveal the aliens. To disrupt the status quo. To flip the game board and let the pieces fall where they fall, right? I think we're gonna need more shots. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little drunk, but I'm not getting this whole new goal. All I want is for everyone who thought I was crazy to apologize. One last moment to give them the finger because I was right all along. The rules mission still stands in. Our group's thinking was changed and outgrown the support group. You must have seen the different sounds. I see them now. I do need another shot, though. <laughs> Perfect. But remember, we're drinking to celebrate, not yeah. to disassociate. OK, <laughs> let's do it. I can't wait to pick all over your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where you go? Oh, oh, fun! Oh, no! Oh, not again! Oh, fun, please! Oh, no. Don't hey. go! Forgive me. I committed a bad Just child. watch yourself, lady! You drunk! I can't drink you under the table. You step aside and control your body. Are you okay? Chill. <sighs> I need a break from them. Scouting missions are never easy. What's a group you're tracking? Increasingly volatile. Do you have any updates? Yes. The order will be sent out soon. The end is coming. <laughs> so I just ordered like 20 MREs and I went to the gun store and bought some more ammo for like the ARs and stuff. Yeah? I just got a new generator and stocked up on the fuel for it. My wife thinks it's I'm going overboard, but if it's aliens or looters, we'll be prepared. Yeah. Dude, you know what I need? Like, an underground bunker, dude. Just way to hit all out. Thank you. And then, like, re-emerge, whistling with, like, a spring in my step. What about the air quality? I didn't even think about gas masks. Dude, war! Dude, don't worry about it, pal, because I just ordered, like, a bunch of high-quality gas masks. Look, if you win this, I'll give a few. And all you need to do is, like, uh, you know, buy the rest of the drinks for the night. Deal? Deal. Oh, oh, oh better luck next time. Look, dude, just cover up with, like, a bandana or something. Dude, I must be on like a winning streak. Dude, I think, I think it's because I got my foot back. Like, like now it's a lucky foot. That's quite peculiar. You sure it's not radiated or something? Dude, it's a lucky foot. Oh. Dude, whore! 
Whoa! Whoa! Who wore the three? Oh. Dude, if you want to win this, you gotta like rub my lucky foot, dude. Oh, what? You're lost, man. Oh! Yes! Oh, thank you, foot. Oh, oh. Go oh, kiss it. Oh! Mwah. It's my lucky <laughs> foot! Mwah. sleepovers. My math class is circus. Miss Cole doesn't stop anyone from TikToking. We can play Minecraft on Logan's laptop. All the parents are free. They're all about family and church now. I even had to go to confession. My dad says so group panic. Something like acting like sheep? I think I actually agree with him. Space is big. It's gonna miss us. Guys. Well, if it misses us, we can still look forward to summer vacation soon. But what about the aliens? Guys, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Guys, just be glad we're hanging out. Stop listening to your parents. Okay. Should we listen to yours? Your old man just repeats what he hears on the internet. Shut up. Guys, don't do that. Can't touch that. No, uh-uh-uh. Bro, I gotta go again. Stop wasting my credits, Lex. Really, though? Fine. Do you think something could stop the asteroid? Yes. Stranger things have happened to you. Game over. Juliana, what are you making? An alien face to scare my little brother. Brian, Brian. That's the end of the world. Why are you trying to scare your brother? Alyssa, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Looks like you're doing a good job wasting your time. What do you want to do before the world ends? Probably in a house. I'm only looking out for me. I'm not reading Catcher in the Rye before the aliens suck the fun out of this world like my parents do. It's no rules day until the end. No rules. <laughs> yes, you understand. Brian Freeze. Life still has consequences. Take it. I'll buy more with my allowance, which is my parents' money. I stole money from mom's purse. We should buy some eggs. Yeah! Anarchy! Why do I hang out with you? Ah! Brain freeze! Butch, you know I can feel your thoughts. I know, Zoe. I hate when you use your telepathic powers on me. I'm the firstborn, the most important. Born a minute and 37 seconds ahead of my counterpart. Counterpart? Yes, counterpart. We might be twins, but we are brother and sister. So, what do you think of the asteroids heading towards Earth? It's such a conundrum of deep proportions. In the infinity of space, our tiny planet has become the most important thing in the universe. Conundrum? Zoe, don't let me go inside your head and read the definition. Conundrum means a deep or confusing problem or question. So yes, we are in a conundrum. Look at our parents. They don't know what to do. Go to work, stay at home. It's all very confusing, even for grown-ups. Tell me about it. So, what do you think about the Ashley? I haven't entered your mind, and I won't. I don't know. I mean, school, sus school suspended indefinitely. I guess that's cool. I had nothing in math class anyways. Oh, Butch, well, that is a conundrum. I mean, I suppose so. You're all the smart one, after all. Consider it a gift. You're welcome. Oi. This is a communication to Empress Emmy of Sorka. This place is like nothing I have ever seen before, but it feels so familiar. The people here have customs not unlike our own. They have kindness and grace. 
In a simple moment, I witnessed a young human female raise her arms in total emotional victory and languish seconds later in utter defeat. Human beings have love. They show one another compassion and kindness as we do in our planet. A stranger paid for my food when I could not. Conflict can be settled. Two groups of kids resolved their differences and agreed on peace. Twice this has happened before my eyes. I have observed so many valuable traits these beings share with our own. It would be dishonorable and tragic to see them eliminated by a catastrophe that we could prevent. They have housed and cared for me without suspicion. They are like me in so many ways. We must commit to saving them. Raphael, Earth out. Raphael, I have heard your case for the humans on Earth, your plea. Other agents have similar stories about the perseverance and resilience of the humans. The Council will step in and save the humans by altering the asteroid's trajectory. While we work on this, you must return home to Zorba. I fear that you have been there too long and you are at risk of being exposed to the world. An agent has told us that you are being followed. We're too close to the end to lose you, Raphael. Unfortunately, there is only one extraction point close to you outside the city. Atlantic Dunes. One of our agents is on their way there now to help you get there. Raphael, I know not saying goodbye to Sam is going to be hard. But this is urgent. Dilly. Congratulations. We're proud of you. See you back home. Empress Emily Zorka out. Lindsay, how much do you hear? Everything. Is it all true? Absolutely. I'm gonna tell the truth to my people about your friends and family. Even Harmony? Even her. I have to go now. Lindsay, what are you going to do? Say goodbye. Goodbye, Lindsay. Bye, Raphael. What a sight to see. Butch isn't so bad. Yeah, turns out he's a geek like us. Ah, I told you not to call me that. Holy Butch, we all know you are deep down. This is a level five iron sword. Ah, 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 Have to drive, Stevie. Don't worry about my driving. It's my height that's the problem. I didn't know Stevie was such a badass. <laughs> Stay away from the riptide, my friend. I might not be there to save you next time. Are you leaving? Back to Europe? <laughs> yes, back home. Did anyone see who was driving? No, come on, let's go after him before we lose him. Maybe it's the person that ratted us out to that cop. I was thinking it could be one of our own. Well, whoever it is, they better not stand in our way or they'll end up like that cop. Come on, let's go. Okay, can you tell me when you're going to the outside of the city? 
He's trying to leave. Our business visa has expired, and he, he's heading home right now. I know where he's going. Meet me at Atlantic Dunes. Now! Put the alarm out, okay? I need, I need Jody, I need Robin on this too. This might be the big one, John. The one you hang your hat on. Don't pop the champagne just yet. I'll meet you there, sir. Honey, I promise not to yell. Not to punish you. You witnessed a murder. Believe me, I understand what it is to see somebody die. So please tell me, what's bothering you? Nothing, Mom. Something clearly is bothering you. You've been despondent, far away. Is it that boy, Joey? You wish it was. I'm listening. Tell us. Well, good talk. Where are you going? Atlantic Dunes. Don't wait up. It's gonna be a 25-hour day. Just let him leave. What? Just let Raphael go home. Don't hurt him, Dad. Just let him go back to Zorka. He's been here this whole time. The alien in my house watching over my kids? I didn't mean to say that. I, I was just trying to help him. Mom, tell Dad that he can't, that he can't kill him. John, please, you cannot you do- You know I have to do this. We've seen the effects firsthand. Maria, they are dangerous. Do not repeat this, I've already killed one. I have a job to do. For Sheriff Andy and now Raphael. Honey, I'm sure there's more to the story that we just don't understand. I shouldn't have left the party! I caused it! I got Deputy Andy killed! You did nothing wrong. You cannot blame yourself for the actions of other people. What are you doing? Warning, Raphael! I can't let you do this. You're frightened. I'm not. Get down on your knees. I will shoot you in a heartbeat. I believe you. Alive, not dead. Those were your orders, Robin. Mr. Cooper. Jody, arrest this alien. Arrest this criminal. We'll take it from here. I understand the danger, and the risk is worth the reward. A reward? It's news to us. Do not interfere. You'll all be charged with obstruction of justice. And that's exactly what we came here for, justice. So please, don't obstruct it. All my years, I never thought I'd see one in person. Will you let me pass? I can't. You always have a choice. What is your name? Eastwood. choice. They have not harmed you. You must lead by example. Your children must know what you have chosen. Julian, Bella, Lindsay, they have beautiful souls. Shut up! Do not talk about them! What you do here today will cause a ripple effect in their lives. They will see you differently. 
drag him out by his hair. Do whatever you want with me. Stop! Get out of here! Shut her up! The next word you say, we follow by a bullet. No, they don't deserve to die. Let us take them in. Don't you leave us! You bitch! John, restrain the criminal. I need him still. Lindsay wants to be like you. A scientist. Wait! She wants to be the first woman of Mars. Here. What the hell are you doing? I'm listening. I'm actually listening. Zork just waiting. <sighs> this isn't over, John. We still have the ooze. And this machine. Good luck. I'm going home. To my family. I have to call for backup. We can still get her. Jody. Just keep them down. Jody. What? We lost the alien child, too. Ricky, I think you might have failed your field test, but you didn't start a galactic war.